people coming in all the time, as you can see. First major tournament in the Netherlands for 22 years, the 1991 European Open here in Rotterdam. It was the last one, Tony Jones beat Mark Johnston Allen in the final. So it's been a long wait for the Dutch snooker community to get big-time live snooker back. Average shot time, 14 seconds. <laughs> it's quick. Yes, well, all the stats obviously are going to favour Lazowski. Turn for Matthew there. He's got to keep things tight now. One more chance for Jack. Well, look at that. It's amazing. He's 3 1 behind, but he's got more table time. Incredible. This is awkward. No obvious route back to the bulk area. So just dropping on this red near the top cushion. Doesn't want to turn this over though. Not bad. Well, that's a terrific pot from where he was, but uh, he's now got to take advantage. He didn't do that in the last frame. He potted a good red in the last frame and then missed the black immediately. Good angle on the brown here, though, to get close to the reds. Oh. Well, I'm There's afraid the same thing has happened, oh. and in the last frame, he didn't get another shot. Disappointing for Matthew. Particularly, again, having potted such a good red to start with. Well, we know he's better, a better player than what we've seen so far from him. One. Well, Jack Smith of the intended cannon, and he's falling out of position. So, only a safety. Red is on to the yellow pocket here for Jack. I'm sure he'll take it on. Like I say, any opportunity to not one in, he will take it on. No problem. One. It's all there, David, isn't it? I'd like to see him in a couple of years' time when he just sort of, uh, you know, just polishes it a little bit more. Well, he's certainly got the confidence, that's, that's obvious. He's got uh, terrific talent, practices hard, so, yeah, when it all comes together consistently, then uh, I'm sure he'll be a top 16 oh. player. No doubt about that at all. The way the rankings are now, of course, I mean, that could happen this season if he were to 
do really well in a couple of events. Five. Table's just a little bit messy in terms of the, the big colours are just a little bit uh, tied up. Step me in account and say this lad might be top eight within the next three seasons. Might so. be sooner. But there's still a lot of good players around. Eight. Great cue power. Yeah. Still got one there though. Twelve. Well, that was a lovely shot. Took the more difficult red to land on the pink. Oh, he's missed that one. Just got himself in good position there as well. Well, that was just about the easiest one of the lot. Too clever for Matthew either. Blue ball. Mr. Couch, one. Don't forget after this match, it's Judd Trump. Centre stage. Jack Nazowski hoping that'll be pretty soon. It will be, of course, if he wins this frame. Well, that's a good shot. Look where he's got the white. Yeah, he had that great chance, though, didn't he? Until he, uh, he missed that pink to the middle. It was fairly easy for him. Well, that's opened up the black. Yes, I think it's not uncommon with sort of naturally talented players, that, especially when they're young, that uh, sometimes when the ball looks dead simple, they might just take their eye off it slightly, just take it for granted, and that's one thing got to iron out. And when he's got a ball like that that's really tough, of course, he gives it everything and knocks them in. He made that look so easy. Check this out, Steve. Come on. Hmm, well, I thought that was a bit casual. Should have made better of that. I did find as players get older, they iron these things out. Neil Robertson was uh, very talented when he was young, but uh, quite raw. But uh, look at him now. World number one, great all-round player in every department. Really strong. Well, it's slightly awkward over the green. There is a red on here, but he might be clattering into other things. This will be a big shot if he takes this on. <laughs> Just about to get the cue in there. Well, this has to go in. Oh, with assistance, I feel the red. It's not bad, though.
Well, at this stage, I don't think you'll care how they go in. Six. Six. Well, it's another disappointing miss with the rest this time. So, a chance to ask you to win it. Huh. Well, Six. It's not gone well, has it? Don't be surprised if he knocks the screen in, screws back for the red. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, put, put, just about to put the shoulder back in, I think. Check this out, Steve. Six. Wasn't too close. And he split the other two as well. One. Well, this might be the beginning of the end here for Matthew Couch. And oh, hang on. Oof. That was in the corner, but he's got the perfect angle to nudge that red near the cushion into the middle of the table, which I'm sure he'll be playing. Missed Nine. it. A little bit careless. Now, does he have the angle on the yellow? Just come straight back towards this red. Well, he's making hard work yeah. of this. Got that one though. Oh. Easy game this. What does he do here? Well, he should just drop onto the black, lay the snooker. In fact, the best shot would have just pushed the black to the cushion and leave the white there. He's in front in this frame. Check this out, Steve. 12. Yes, if he does win, I suspect he'll probably feel. He's not played his best, but then again, if he'd been put under more pressure, maybe he would have been a bit tighter overall. I suppose the main thing is the result. Play uh, Anthony Hamilton or Alan Taylor in the next round if he wins. They're still going uh, in their match. Two apiece. It's been a long one. Yes, yeah, so we've got some of the other matches on already, of course. That's still the last match in the first, the first set. 
So another chance. He needs green and brown. Yes, he's just Fine. been given too many chances, really, hasn't he, today? Yeah. Couch will be disappointed with the, some of the balls he's missed. Yeah, I suppose right. Matthew might have fancied the job beginning the, the, the day, but uh, again, as we mentioned, just lack of um, match practice at this level, I'm afraid. Well, young Jack, what's going through? Yeah, he played a good uh, fourth round, that 69 break, the highest of the match, and uh, never really looked like he was going to lose, did he? He just felt he was going to get enough chances. So disappointment for Matthew Couch, but uh, Jack Zaski on his way into the last 64 here in Rotterdam. He needed uh, quite a few chances in the end to kill it off, but as I say, the main thing is the result, and he's got the win.